Hank Rogers uh, is a game publisher who in at the end of the 80s got a first glimpse at Tetris and very astutely realized that it had the potential to be a global phenomenon and he went on a sort of crazy adventure to try and win the rights to the game, which took him behind the Iron Curtain to Soviet Russia, uh, where he meets the designer of the game, Alexei Pajitnov, and um, a sort of crazy true story about how he brought the rights home uh, unfurls. The most exciting thing about playing him, well, he's just a very lovable, kind of slightly cowboyish, um, very enthusiastic character. I like his, I liked the energy of the character on the page and I thought there was a fun performance to give and it felt kind of different from anything I'd done before. Well, to be honest, I, I found um, the whole story to be very surprising. As you say, it really does defy belief and it plays like a flight of fancy and not like truth. The movie's kind of testament to the fact that um, reality can be stranger than fiction. Um, so, yeah, it just seemed like a great premise for a film. <laughs> I actually really enjoyed the scene where I'm drunk at a party with Alexi after I go over to his house for dinner because it shows Hank for his kind of sense of fun and enthusiasm. And he sort of, there's a, it's a, a minute in the movie where he kind of stops thinking about Tetris and is just sort of present and in the moment and enjoying himself and enjoying his connection with Alexi. Uh, and I, I really enjoyed filming that scene with Nikita. Um, and he's, he's a really, really brilliant actor to work with. And uh, so that, that sticks out in my memory as something that I had fun doing. Um, I just think that I, I hope they have a good time, you know, it's an interesting piece of history if you're into gaming, um, and it's fast paced and fun. Um, so I really just hope audiences enjoy it. And we premiered the film last night for a live audience and they were incredibly enthusiastic and responsive. And I hope, uh, the people watching at home and in theaters feel the same way. I don't know what my high score on Tetris is, but all of this talk about Tetris makes me feel like I'd really like to go and play and maybe get a new high score.